Spedicolary. I have it. I'm going to open it. Let's just get into it. Uh, this is the newest car culture mix, the second car culture mix of the year. It's already mid year. We're only two mixes in. I have like eight mixes of car culture, which is kind of crazy. But that's how it goes. Let's see what's in here. And, uh, yeah. Let's check it out. So I'm just going to start pulling cars out of here. So actually, this should be like a mystery. Let's do it like this so I can't actually see what's in here. Well, I did see the first three cars. Here is the Launch of Stratos. This casting has been retooled apparently recently. It's debuted a while ago. First time it's made its way to premium, and there's of course going to be two of them in here. And we have the Lamborghini Countach LP 5000 QV. This debuted last year. And it was the Jay Leno set. It was also the Chase. Okay. Next up is the Alfa Romeo Julia Sprint GTA. I only see one Countach in here. Is it a Chase? No, it is not. Will we get a Chase? Probably not. There's another Alfa. Okay, and then the last ones are going to be... This is like falling over. This was not a good idea. It's gonna be this one, it's I think going to be this one, right? All right. Well, we pulled out like three cars. Alfa Romeo 155 V6 Ti. And then, of course, the Lamborghini Countach. And, well, there's another one in here. There's the other Countach. There's the... Uh, New Countach. That's a new casting in this set, and I don't think we got a chase, but you never know. I don't believe so. Is it a chase? Is that a chase? I don't know what it was. No, it was not. It's a regular. No chase in here. I've heard that a lot of these cases do not have chases in them. Whatever. Let's open the set up. Uh, I'm going to start with... Let's I'm gonna start with the Alpha. I don't know why it's just 5 of 5. Typically the new casting's five of five, but I guess they're breaking their rules. There's that. It's already hitting stores. I haven't seen it in the store. I'm gonna open this one. Alpha. I don't know when the casting debuted. I don't really care anymore. I just hope it looks good. And it does look pretty good, I will say. Um, there's the side graphic, the green stripe with the clover. It's got gray steelies on it. It is in a white, not a pearl white, just a straight white. Rear taillights look good. There's a license plate. Alfa Romeo. Or it actually says GTA and then some numbers and other weird stuff. There's a serpent on the hood. That means something. I forget what it means. There's the front. The yeah, graphics actually don't look too bad on this guy. They look fairly solid. You get up really close and it's like you can see the pixelation, but it, it doesn't look terrible on this model. It's not it's not as bad as others. Alright. There's, I'm going to put this one, I don't know where to put this, I'll put it right here. Uh, Alpha Romeo 155 V6 Ti. This debuted in Boulevard last year. I obviously don't have that version because I don't find Boulevards ever. There's another version coming out in Team Transport. That version's already out. I should have that Team Transport mix soon, I hope. Here it is in definitely not Martini. Just to preface, this is not Martini. This is completely different. Um, obviously, this is a Martini-inspired livery. They can't do that because alcohol moment. But it's got dark gray six spokes on it. It's in white. It's got the Alpha logo on the back. Pirelli, Bill Stein, Brembo. Alpha Male 155 there. There's the Clover. There's that. There's the front. It looks really. This actually looks really good. Graphics aren't terrible on this either. It's not as not super fuzzy. Exhaust is actually part of the, it looks like the roll cage piece. Looks pretty good. There's a separate piece for the spoiler with the Alfa Romeo logo on it. More striping on the top. Looks pretty good. I like this. Looks really good. Uh, obviously, this is an Italian themed mix. Pedicolare, I think, is Italian for spectacular. No Ferraris. It feels like kind of weird you're doing a car culture mix without Ferrari, but obviously, Hot Wheels has not had that license for a while because. 
Well, they just have it. Lots of Stratos. This might be my favorite of the mix. The Stratos debuted a while ago. It kind of looked weird because the thing about the Stratos is that it's a rally car. And I feel like all the versions, like the basic versions they came out with, just didn't look very good with the basic wheels on it. But this version looks proper. Uh, like I said, it's an older casting. This is the first time I believe it hits premium. Really nice. It's got kind of a mag style wheel on it in kind of a copper color with the really thick real rider tires, which just make this car look really good. Here's the bat. Oh, look at the graphics on that. Oh, oh, Hot Wheels. Why do you use this grainy? It looks like I rubbed my finger over the tampo in the back. That was not, that was not good. Look yeah, look at the wing too, or the spoiler or whatever. It says launch there, but you can see all the graininess. Here's the top. God, look at the launch logo. You can barely make it out. It's just so blurry. It looks like a black blob. It looks like a mole. I like this though. I really like this version. It's probably my, it's probably my favorite of the set. I just think it looks really good. The Stratos is a really cool car. And I think finally it gets a really good version from Hot Wheels, a version that I would keep in my collection, a version that I think a lot of people would be interested in. I feel like this might be the peg warmer. This and the Alpha and the, well, the Alphas. Okay, let's get the Lamborghinis. Uh, Lamborghinis are very popular in Hot Wheels. We love Lamborghinis, right? Hope we do. We got two of them here. This is the Countach, the old Countach, the LP 5000 QV. This debuted in the Jay Leno car culture mix last year as a chase. That chase was very good looking. One of my, probably my favorite car culture chase they've done. It's really good. I'm trying to get this out of the blister. There's some trash. Okay. So it gets the eight hole real riders. They, they've put this on their RLC Countach. This type of wheel. I don't like this wheel. I don't know. I think on a Countach, it looks weird. Cause look, it's bead locked. It's got a bead lock. Do Lamborghinis have bead locks? No, they don't. I think they sink a little, I think they're supposed to sink into the wheel well a little bit, maybe. I don't know, I like the color. I like it in yellow. I'm just not a big fan of the wheels. I wish they would have gone like the Aero style wheels because those look really good on Lambos, specifically the Countach. That's what the Chase got and it looks really good. The hole's not bad, but I don't know, it's kind of goofy, it's a beadlock. They actually just have a basic wheel that worked really well for Countaches. And the new Countach, this thing is a disappointment. This might be my least favorite of the mix. If I'm being completely honest, it probably is. Uh, this is the, this would be the Chase in all black, which you can kind of just use your imagination to envision that. Gosh, eh. Eh. I don't know. So obviously it's a new casting. One big thing you'll note is the wheels are different sizes. The rear is larger than the front. I don't know why they did this, maybe because of limitations with the casting. I don't know, but it looks weird. It's in white, obviously it's a new Countach. The car itself looks pretty cool. The headlights are part of the window piece, it seems, which is nice. They did do a Hot Wheels 143rd scale version of this model. It actually looks good. And I should be getting those soon. But let me, let me let me put this on the edge and let me show you guys why I don't like it. Like, look at the silhouette. Like, look at this. It looks like it's gonna like just the silhouette is goofy. It looks like it's gonna line up on the drag strip against like a Ford Pinto. It looks so weird. And that's spedicolary. Um, it's all right. They had a slow start for car culture this year. I feel. I don't know. I like the Lancia a lot. The, uh, this alpha is really cool. This one's there. These Countaches are all right. And uh, yeah, all right, mix. And that's about it. See ya.